Good afternoon, everybody. It's Gordon. Welcome to the shop. In, uh, in the classic form of Michael Jenks, I'm going to follow his lead on this. I want to do an unboxing, and uh, I know that's not my focus, but um, huge success with his unboxing video. So I'm going to throw one out there. And I know what's coming, so uh, it does have some relevance as we talk about uh, tote and knob repair. So covering stuff up a little bit, let's get right to it. Um, and just like MJ, I'm using my Stanley knife. Mine's not as authentic as his, but nonetheless, other than it looks like they threw it out of the truck on the way by, let's see what we have. And there is my beautiful box of rosewood and maybe some other stuff. Um, so let's kind of sort it out. Hopefully we'll keep these in frame not rosewood. So I think what I want to do, I've got totes and knobs here and these are all going to be um, for the use of restoration. They're going to be donor parts, but also I believe there's going to be some salvageable stuff in here. So this is not rosewood. I think what we should do uh, is sort them out. Let's sort rosewood from, let's sort rosewood from white wood. Let's see what happens. Okay, you can see that. So what do we have here? Rosewood, beautiful grain, definitely repairable. I'm gonna put him in the knob category. Rosewood, definitely repairable. So he's gonna stay. I don't know what's going on here. A little sanding going on. We'll call him semi-complete. Not rosewood, but repairable. There's another knob, rosewood, repairable. Rosewood, uh, you know what? He's fixable. We could put a new horn on it and fix that mid-body crack. We're gonna add him to that pile. Low knob. Not sure what that one is. Feels somewhere in between white wood and rosewood. Clearly not rosewood. So we're gonna put him over here with white wood. Here's a great donor part. Rosewood for sure. Donor part. Rosewood, we're gonna leave him in the middle. Another chew down the sun. The dog got this one. Yep, those are dog teeth marks. That's kind of fun. Bad dog. Um, I don't know what he did with the rest of the plane. What's going on here? This has already been used as a donor at one time. Somebody bands out a chunk out of it. Donor part. That's a foot. No, it's not a foot. That's a horn that's been sawed or sanded flat. So rosewood, nice grain. That's a donor part that's already kind of been used. This is interesting. Look at this, you guys. This is somebody's, somebody's repair. So there's a new horn that is not rosewood on the horn, but a rosewood body. And I don't know if that was being used as is or if that was an in process, but it almost looks, it's got, it's got some dirt on it. I'd say that's been used. Rosewood donor part. That's a, that's mm, a donor part. Rosewood knob, repairable. I don't know what the, the entire bottom's gone. Rosewood knob, high knob, repairable. Low knob with some classic Electrical tape, love that. That will be definitely repairable. Rose wood all the way through. That's a nice, I don't know, it looks kind of thick for a Stanley, but we're gonna kind of put him over there. White wood, and I'm going by, when I talk about white wood, I'm going by, uh, it's either beech or boxwood or it's not rosewood. And you can almost tell by the density there's a rosewood 
foot. Love that. That might be usable. Donor part, another rosewood knob. Big chunk missing, no problem. Rosewood. Couple chunks missing, but we've got the profile so we know what to do with it. Very fixable. Donor part. And there's a candidate. This is a fixer. We can do this. This would be for five, six, seven, eight. Needs a horn, needs a mid body repair, but it's all there. Or mostly there. Rosewood foot. Looks great. I'll put him in the foot category over here. There's a fixer. Maybe. It's got some attempts and some screw holes and a screw hole in the top where the horn used to be. I don't know. That'll be a tough one. There's a nice donor. Rosewood top. Donor. And this is... Who knows? That looks like rats or mice have been chewing on this. And the guy probably had a lot of... He had Cheetos on his fingers and then at night the mice came and enjoyed Cheetos. I don't know. Rosewood. I think what we're doing with some of these bigger donor parts is I'll try and match it to a foot. Maybe somewhere in the box there's... See, it's not a match, but we're gonna... We'll, we're gonna go there for sure. There's a unique horn that's square that I don't recognize. Rosewood. Dirty and fixable. Rosewood. Missing the entire bottom, but we could certainly work with that. Donor. Rosewood. Beautiful shape. I love that geometry. There's no bead at the base, but here's a chunk missing, and there's the impact mark that blew it out. And that is fixable. Nice foot. Rosewood, we'll put him in the foot department. A complete one, what do you know? Our, there's our first full tote with a mid-body break and some damage on the horn. Very fixable. That one's gonna go in the queue. Rosewood. There's a rosewood horn with the hardware still in it. Interesting. Foot. Rosewood foot. For a five, six, seven, eight. There's a mid-body break, missing a horn. This is classic stuff. This is, and that's an early one because it's got that thicker base down here. I love the geometry there. That is totally fixable. Here's somebody, this has got a lot of miles on that. That's just beautiful. It's super, super dense. I don't know what that is, but this is definitely Rosewood Donor. There's a big chunker. Super thick on the toe. I don't recognize that. And it looks like a, it's light. This is either a cherry or mahogany or something. It's a really reddish look I'm not familiar with. White wood. So there's a really lightweight, dry, super dry. You can almost hear it. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, rosewood is a tone wood, right? It's used in fretboards and musical instruments, and I've got some pieces you've, uh, in my other videos, I've kind of clunked them together, and you get a beautiful sound, and that's really one of the ways that you can tell. Now, here's a complete rosewood tote with some damage up top. Very, very traditional repair, but we can certainly work with that. This one is going to be rosewood. It's complete. And this is a perfect example of repairable. We're going to work with that. Nice rosewood foot. We'll line him up with the feet. Donor part. Another rosewood knob. Beautiful grain. Missing part of the flange at the base. We can fix that. Rosewood knob. Again, missing the base. We can fix that. White wood. This is a light, very light, dent. It's not rosewood. I don't know what that is. We'll put him in the maybe category. I don't know if that's worth messing with. That feels really light. I'm going to call that white wood. That one's definitely not rosewood. There's a rosewood with a nail sticking out of it. Mid-body break. 
Very nice foot, if anything. Beach. Complete. It's fixable. It's not rosewood, but we can... I guess we'll call him a candidate. That's a white wood. We'll put him over here. Light wood. Rosewood. Rosewood. Another rosewood foot. Lots of feet to go with these donor parts. Another foot. There's a knob. And that is a boxwood. That's a beach or boxwood. White wood. Not rosewood. Oh, there's a little guy. We'll have to match that up and see if that's a two or a three. That's rosewood. Here's another rosewood foot. And a horn. And that one's really dry. Lots of checking going on there. So, there's our cache. And if we line it up, there are definitely some things that we can fix here. So, we would do it like this. I'm not going to bore you with this process, but I would take these feet. If those are in frame, they are. And then we'll try and match some of these brakes to them and see what we can do. If I compare those up. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten, eleven that appear to be 80, 90 percent there that we can work with and, and build on. And then there's clearly going to be some that we have to kind of match up and see if we can pair these together. There's also at least a dozen rosewood knobs here. So lots of stock for us to work with. Uh, some of these are beautiful. They're super heavy. Um, I love the feel, and, and unfortunately, they're, they've got some issues, but we can make that go away, and we'll put them back into use. So there's my unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, currently on the workbench, I have a couple Stanley Number 1 totes, and um, I am going to be putting those uh, videos together. I do have some editing to do to kind of paste them all together, but lots of uh, how-to videos and shared techniques coming up with you. So stick around. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up or a like. And if you have any comments, throw them down below. I'm always willing to uh, answer those or talk through it as time permits. So thanks for watching again, you guys. We'll see you soon.